go over the experiment that we started the week before our ice week. And this is experiment 10.2, yeast is a decomposer. This experiment will demonstrate the function of decomposers using yeast, one of the members of Kingdom Fungi. So we took two slices of bananas, put one in a bag, each in a different baggie. We labeled one with the Y. And for the experiment instructions, we put yeast in there. So this one was supposed to take a week to do. You're supposed to observe it every day. And so what did we find out? The banana slice with the yeast on it should be mushy and squished, which if yours work, that's exactly how it should be. While the other banana slice should look brown, but should have retained its original shape. Very firm. This is because the yeast decomposed the banana, turning it into mushy goo. Since the banana without yeast did not have a decomposer on it, it, de not, it did not decompose rapidly. The bag with the yeast in it will probably be partially inflated. Now mine was not, so there must be some kind of little air hole in there. Uh, since yeast too is a gas, or gas is a product of decomposition. So um, maybe yours did inflate, that would be interesting to know, maybe we can talk about that later. So that is how experiment 10.8 two should have turned out. Then I want to go ahead and move on to the one we were going to do, but instead we have an ice we had an ice day. And this is experiment 10.4 trigger pressure. So what we're supposed to do is start off with a slice piece of wilted celery, which is what I have here. Cut the bottom off of it and put it into a glass and let it sit overnight with blue food coloring in it. Let me adjust the camera. Now, our, the leaves are wilted like this. Uh, and this is how this one was yesterday. Now, the leaves don't look all bright and perky, but you can see that they are blue. Can you see that they have a blue tinge to them? The whole celery stalk kind of has a blue tinge to it. And so how does that happen? So, um, we've noticed that the leaves on some of the top of the celery stalk turn blue. And we should have noticed that the celery is no longer wilted. Kind of flimsy and gummy. Firm. Flimsy. <clears throat> and that's because before I put this celery in, I sliced off a little bit of the bottom and made a fresh cut that the liquid it allowed the liquid to get uh, into, absorb, that the celery could absorb the water. The water traveled all the way up to the top of the celery, being absorbed by cells wherever it was needed in these wilted leaves. The blue color shows that the water from the cup was indeed transported to the very top of the celery. See, this is not in there. It wasn't upside down. So why was the celery no longer wilted? Well, as the cells that needed water absorbed it, their central vacuoles began to expand. This increased the trigger pressure in the cells, causing the cells to go rigid. So instead of floppy, it's rigid. And that allowed the celery to stand upright. So trigger pressure in a plant cells helps the plant to stand upright. And without trigger pressure, plants would always look wilted and would never stand up straight. 